All right. Yes, sir. Glad to have you all here. I'm Ron Clymer from Clymer School of Real Estate in Orlando, Florida. That's my username, Clymer School, and we're just going to do the math out of the book here on page 292. And uh, y'all turn with me to page 292. First thing we're going to do is fractions. Now, does everybody know, does everybody know that this is a fraction? The number on top is called the top number. Number on bottom is called the bottom number. And the way you turn this into a percentage is you divide the top number by the bottom number. So if you want to turn this into a percentage, you put the 1 in the calculator, push a little bar with the dot on both sides, and the calculator says 0 .50, 50%. You want to turn that into a percent, you move the decimal over two places. So one half equals 0.50 equals 50%. You all all know that, right? And um, now, on the exam, you see a question that says this is what portion of that? This is what portion of that? Then that is a fraction. For instance, Joe, can you look on that uh, chart there next to you on the wall and it tells us how many people took the test in one month and how many people pass the test. So if we want to know what percent of the people pass the Florida State exam the first time, how many passed the test, Joe? Passed 558. 558 people passed the test out of how many people took the test? 1,046. 1,046 took the test. So we want to know how many people of the ones that took the test passed the test. Y'all put that in your calculators. 558 divided by 1,046. What the calculator say? 0.53 is what the calculator says, right? So 53% of the first timers passed the test the first time. What about the second timers that same month, Joe? How many people passed it? 369. 369 passed it. Of how many took it? 1,121. 1,121 took it for the second or third time. By the way, do y'all know it costs $31 every time you take the test? If you take it 10 times, that's $310. Don't take it 10 times, pass it the first time. What's the calculator say? 33. 33%. So 33% of the people that took the test passed the test. Everybody with me? Or you could have a question like this on your exam about fractions. If you have a vacant lot that is 1,200 feet long by 400 feet wide, and you're going to put a road 20 feet wide down the length of the lot. The road takes up what percent of the land? This is what percent of that? So 20 is what percent of 400? What's the calculator say? 5%. 5%. So that road takes up 5% of the width of the property. Everybody with me on fraction? All right, let's talk about something fun. Let's talk about commissions. Now, I'm going to keep this just as simple as I possibly can. Keep this as simple as I possibly can. Let's just take an average house in Orlando, Florida today, $132,000. $132,000. Now, let's set the premise here. I'm the real estate broker. All of you guys are the real estate associates working for me. And we're on a 55% split. That means when you sell a house, you get 50. I know it's the best deal you could make with me. I'm pretty tough. Uh, you should have watched my video on how to make the best deal with your first broker, but you didn't. But anyway, 
So uh, you're on a 55% split. So every time we sell a house, you get 55% of the money. Mr. Broker gets 45% of the money. All right. So we're going to list this house, and let's just keep this simple. Let's say that Joe lists the house. Now, we are all work for the same company. I'm the broker. We all work for the same company. So Joe lists the house for $132,000. And he lists the house at a 7.5% commission. All right? Help me out. What's the total commission? How much? $9,900 $9, is the total commission coming into the office. Everybody with me? So Joe lists the property. Amy sells the property. Joe lists it. Amy sells it. All right? Who makes how much money? Well, we got $9,900. Traditionally, usually, most of the time, we have half that money is the listing commission and half that money is the sales commission. So Amy sold the property that Joe listed. Everybody with me? So how much money owes half of $9,900? $4,950. $4,950. Now, Joe is on a 55% split with the broker. So how much is Joe going to make? Twenty-seven, twenty-two, fifty. Twenty-seven, twenty-two, fifty. Is that right? Yes. Two thousand seven hundred twenty-two dollars and fifty cents. Everybody with me? Everybody with me? Now, Amy, who is also on a fifty-five percent split, is going to make the same thing: twenty-seven, twenty-two, and fifty cents. Everybody with me? Everybody with me? Uh -huh. Now, hold on a second. What if Joe had listed the property, and instead of Amy selling the property, Joe sold the property himself? How much would he make? Well, he would make twenty-seven fifty times two, which is forty-nine fifty. Everybody with me? So Joe would make. Forty-nine fifty. If he listed it and sold it, but since Joe listed it and Amy sold it, Joe, Amy, everybody with him? Yep. Everybody got those two scenarios. All right. Let's change the story again. What if instead of Joe listing the property, what if the broker had listed the property? The broker listed the property and Amy sold it. All right. Broker listed, Amy sold it. Is Amy going to make any more money? No. Amy's going to make $49.50 times her 55% split, or $2,722.50. And the broker is going to make uh, the $49.50 plus whatever 45% of that money is. Everybody with me? Everybody see that? Yes. All right. So, Amy's not going to make any more money if the broker had listed than if her co-worker Joe had listed Everybody with me on those three scenarios? Okay. Everybody with me? We've got one more scenario, and that is, let's go back to Joe listing the property. Joe lists the property, and instead of Amy selling it, uh, the Century 21 broker down the street sold it. All right? It's a co-op deal. So Century 21 down the street sells it. The forty-nine fifty goes to them. We don't really know what they're doing with their money, but Joe's still going to make fifty-five percent of the forty-nine fifty, or twenty-seven twenty-two fifty. Twenty-seven twenty-two fifty. Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. Now, in real life, you might have some bonuses and different kind of things and stuff, but for our purposes here, that's what you got. Everybody with me on that? Yes. Everybody with me? All right. Uh, by the way, before we take a break, this is Ron Clymer, 407-822-3926. No, I'm not talking to you about a break. I'm talking to the people on the camera about a break. So, uh, yeah, we're not taking any breaks. All right. Um, if we can help you with anything, 
give us a call. All right, let me erase this, and um, here's the next thing we're going to do.